Hey guys, it's Mackenzie. Welcome back to my channel. So today we have a ship with me video. Today is Friday, March 1st. The last time that I shipped out was Tuesday. So this is going to show my sales Wednesday, Thursday, and then earlier today, Friday. We have a total of $698 in sales. So it was a pretty good sales week. I was able to sell 30 items and so my average sales price came out to $23.27. That is a bit lower than what I typically aim for but I was trying to get some stuff out the door because my numbers were a bit low for February and so I wanted to uh, just kind of try to meet my goal towards the end of the week. Uh, or the end of the month rather and yeah so that is why I accepted a lot of offers and I sent a lot of offers so let's go ahead and get into it our first sale is a pair of altered state pants these are super cute they are pull on stretch elastic waist corduroy pants with a flare leg they're like a charcoal gray color, size large, in excellent condition. So yeah, these had quite a bit going for them with the comfy elastic waist and the flare leg. I think flare is really come back, coming back into style. I don't know if it ever actually left. I think it's always kind of a classic cut of jean, but I really like it. And I have these listed at 30 Someone offered me 23, which I did go ahead and accept. That made my earnings $18.40. I picked these up at the bins, and so I paid a couple dollars for them, making my profit $16.40 on these jeans. So, a solid, quick little bread and butter sale. I've only had these listed for a couple weeks now at most altered state i really only pick it up if it's like super trendy and cute and kind of a more substantial piece otherwise it just sits forever kind of thing okay moving on we have a five item bundle and i'm going to grab my box number seven so the first piece is I had never heard of this brand, Neves Lobby, New York. I'll put the tag on the screen. I received it in a mystery box from Courtney, and I decided to go ahead and get it listed because I believe it is 100% silk. So it's high quality, and I want to say some pieces from this brand have been sold at Anthropology in the past. I don't know about this one in particular. But it was a really cute maxi length dress, so... A little bit more substantial of a cut as well second piece is this pair of joie linen shorts these are so cute they're high-waisted they have these really pretty beaded tassels I got these at the bins and they are new without tags the tassels still had the paper wrapping on them when I found them but I took it off so that you could see how pretty the beading was third piece is this pair of also linen shorts from Michael Stars in a pink color. Then we have more shorts. These are Lululemon printed, really fun, vibrant shorts. And lastly is more Lululemon. It's a racer back tank top, solid black in color, really nice. I believe this one my neighbor gave me to resell. She knows that I sell clothing. So I'll just add a piece of paper on top as well as my thank you sticker and seal the box up. So when the five of these items were added to a bundle, the bundle price came out to $147 and I was offered $110, which I did go ahead and accept. My earnings were $88. I paid around $10 for everything and so my profit was $78. Um, I believe everything was relatively quick to sell. I don't think I've had anything longer than a couple months, so that's always exciting. Okay, moving on, we have this 
athletic skorts from the brand Victoria's Secret Pink. This is also something that I received in a mystery box from Courtney, who is Magnolia Thrifts here on YouTube. Go give her a follow. I was super excited to get this listed because it's a size extra, extra large. It has the built-in shorts that have really nice pockets on each side. It also has this really trendy crossover waistline. I'm not sure what you would call that. It has the fun tie-dye print. It looks brand new, great size. And so, yeah, it had a ton going for it. Also, at, le at leisure style items are a category that has always sold great. So I listed this at 28. Someone liked it, and so I sent them out a $25 offer with discount ship, which was accepted. My earnings came out to 17 and my profit was around $14 on this skirt. So very happy with that. I've had this, I would say, maybe like three months now. So it did sit for just a bit. Okay, moving on, we have a kimono duster cardigan type piece from Gimmicks by BKE, really pretty floral print. This I just sourced, and so it sold very quickly within a week or two of being listed. I got it because it does, again, just have so much going for it. The print with the ombre and the floral. The cut, this cardigan kimono type cut just flies out of my closet, especially going into springtime when people are on the hunt for lightweight layering pieces. So I listed this at 28. Someone offered me 23 and I did counter them to 25 because I do like to make a return of $20 on these. Um, that is just kind of across the board the price that they seem to command a sale price of $25. And so my earnings were 20 and my profit was 18. This was featured in my most recent shop with me video, which I'm so glad to read all of the good feedback you guys have been leaving me. That has been such a relief, I guess you'd say. I'm just, it, it really motivates me to switch up my content and try different things out. And yeah, I'm really glad you guys are liking it. Okay, our next sale is a pair of American Eagle mom shorts. Yeah, these are the mom short in a size 18. Really cute, like medium wash with distressing. I have had so many shorts sell recently. You just saw me package up like four pairs. So yeah, definitely get your shorts, your sandals, your beach hats, kimonos, swimsuits beach totes, everything listed because people are, they have the warmer weather mindset. And I listed these shorts at 30. Someone offered me 20. I did counter that to 24 just because these are excellent condition. They're a very trendy style. They're the newer tag from American Eagle, which I pretty much exclusively source from the brand, and they were a good size. So yeah, I counted at 24, they accepted, my earnings were $19.20, and my profit was around $17.20. Okay, now we have a two-piece bundle. First off is this Romper by Torrid. This I also just recently sourced. It's only a size zero in Torrid, which is equivalent to a US women's size 12. And I do like to stick to plus size in Torrid. However, this sold quickly and I am receptive to how things perform. And so I will probably try out picking up size zero, double zero in Torrid going forward and see if they also sell quickly and then kind of change up my strategy. Second item in this bundle is this pair of Matisse woven sandals, really cute. I grabbed these from the bins. Um, but yeah, it is really important to always keep an open mind in reselling. You don't want to just get stick, stuck on one idea 
and then never change anything because you know, trends change, fashion changes, styles change, and you have to change with it or you'll get left behind. So I, someone added the two of these to a bundle and I sent her a $38 offer with no discounted shipping and she did accept that. So my earnings were $30.40. I paid around four for both items, and so my profit was $26.40. And those sandals have sat for a while, but I did list them in cold weather, I believe, so that is most likely why. Matisse, which is the brand of those sandals, uh, sells pretty well for me. It's kind of like a good bread and butter shoe brand. Okay, now we have another pair of shoes. These are by Steve Madden. They're like a silver iridescent heel, the Frankie heel. And I believe I also got these from Courtney. I think these were a Plato's Closet find of hers. So that was great. They did have a little bit of wear, and so I kind of just wanted to make that my investment. Um, I wasn't really expecting too much of a profit on these. I listed them at 28. Someone offered me 15 and I just took that. My earnings were 12 and my profit was around 10. So yeah, it takes me really no time at all to photo and list shoes. So I'm happy with a $10 profit. Um, I probably, unless these were in excellent condition, I probably would not have picked these up myself at the bins just because they are synthetic. They are a faux leather upper. Um, and that always just, in Steve Madden, that doesn't sell uh, very well for me from what I have noticed. See, I do like to stick to genuine leather purses and shoes from Steve Madden across the board when I'm sourcing. Okay, next we have another bundle. First off is this midi length dress. It's a halter cut. This is a linen blend and it's from Urban Outfitters. Yeah, it's one of their newer tags. And I do remember, I think it's like a linen cotton blend. So nice materials, pretty pastel colorway. And then my neighbor's calling me. I'll call him back in a little bit. Second and last piece is a pair of shorts. These are by Free People, the Free People Movement line, which sells really well for me. It's the athletic line within the brand. Uh, so I sent a $38 offer with discount ship. on the bundle and the buyer did accept that. And so my earnings came out to $27.42. I paid about three for both. And so my profit was $24.42. So happy with this sale. I, if I seem a little bit distracted today, today it's probably because it is my birthday. I turned 30 today, March 1st, so it's a milestone, but honestly, I feel really good about it. I'm excited. All of my friends and I are doing karaoke, so that should be fun. But yeah, everyone's been texting me, wishing me a happy birthday, so I'm a little bit all over the place, but I'm thankful for all my friends. Okay, next we have a really cute little mini dress. It's a white gauzy mini dress. I would say it's a cover up, but it has this heavy beading. So I feel like it's more formal than just a cover up. Did I say the brand is Tula Rosa, which is a good brand. Um, it's pretty expensive. This I, I'll insert a close up of the beading because it's just gorgeous. And this is flawless. I found this at the bins and was shocked to see 
how good of a condition it was in. I listed this at 72. I want to say it retailed for maybe like 150 to 170 ish. See, so yeah, I listed it at 72. Someone actually purchased it full price which was awesome. My earnings came out to $57.60. I paid only a couple dollars for this. It's pretty lightweight. And so my profit was $55.60 on this little dress. So very exciting. I hope she loves it. This has sat now for, I would say, three, maybe three and a half months. But you know, like I said, it was not listed in peak warmer weather time. So all that stuff that I listed off season is starting to sell, which is great. Okay, this sweatshirt sold very quickly in contrast. I have only had this listed for about a week now. It's a vintage Everlast sweatshirt, sh short sleeve sweatshirt. <laughs> It's a tongue twister. I think someone maybe tie dyed this themselves. I don't know. The tie dyes, it was. It's a really good job, so maybe not. Um, but I wanted to grab this for two dollars from my family thrift center outlet because it's vintage. It's quirky. It has a lot happening. Again, that athleisure style sells great across the board. And really unique pieces like this always perform very well. It kind of has that streetwear vibe, which people really like. So I listed this at 32. Uh, someone liked it, and so my Posture VA sent them out a $28 offer with discount ship, which they did accept, making my earnings $19.42 and my profit $17.42 on this sweatshirt. Okay, now we have a cardigan by the brand FTC. And this is a cashmere blend cardigan. It's 50% cashmere, very nice, very luxurious and soft. I also sourced this recently. So again, a week or two to sell. And I was kind of on the fence about it at the store. I'm not sure why. I think just because I wasn't too familiar with the brand. And it also did need a very light deep hilling. So that did take a little bit of time. But overall, I am glad that I got it. I listed it at 58. Someone offered me 32, which I did go ahead and accept because like I said, I was trying to just make some extra sales towards the end of the month to try to hit my numbers. See, I did accept 32 on this. My earnings were 25.60 and my profit was around 23.60. I did also post on my Instagram and say, if you've been interested in anything in my closet, you know, I'm trying to hit my goal, feel free to go over and make any kind of offer and I'll most likely accept. And so I did get a lot of offers from that. I don't usually do that, but I was, I am really trying to hit, uh, you know, my, my goals this year. So yeah, I was really happy that I saw some activity after that. Okay, next we have a Lululemon dress, really pretty maroon, long sleeve, like sweat wicking material dress, split neck, I listed this at 58. Someone offered me 38, which again, I did go ahead and accept. I thought that was a pretty good price for this. My earnings were $30.40 and my profit was $28.40. This has only been listed maybe about a week now. So a fast sale, which I did anticipate. More substantial pieces from Lululemon still sell really well for me, like long sleeve dresses, cardigans, sweatpants, joggers, that kind of thing. Yeah, even though things have slowed down with like tank tops and kind of their more basic leggings, I do find myself still getting excited over uh, finding solid pieces when I'm outsourcing especially at the outlet stores. Okay, moving on, we have a J. Crew striped 
shirt with this ruffle bib in front it's really cute this i believe i just grabbed from the bins because it was relatively lightweight and it looked brand new i also knew i could add in career office minimalist from 2020 workwear capsule wardrobe closet staple that kind of thing i listed this at 28 dollars and someone offered me 15 I have had it for probably about three months now. And so I did go ahead and accept that $15 offer. My earnings were 12 and my profit was around $10. So I am happy with that. Obviously, it could have been a higher profit. But I was, like I said, just trying to get some stuff out the door. And everything adds up honestly okay next we have a three item bundle first off is this soft joie dress printed dress mini dress adorable i have had this now for over a year in my inventory and i'm not sure why it's so cute it's very flattering i just relisted this so that is why it's sold same for this actually and all three pieces in this bundle were recently relisted so this is a zara leaf printed blouse with a swiss dot texture this one i ordered a long time ago from thread ups online outlet because i did like the print it has just a couple loose threads that i want to clip off okay so yeah i i did order this from thread ups online outlet um, over a year ago because I really like the print and I just thought it was really cute. Last piece is this J Crew tank top. This tank is in collaboration with Liberty Fabrics and that is the main reason I got this because anything made with Liberty, Liberty of London Fabrics uh, is going to sell a little bit better. And also that was incredibly lightweight and I did get it from the bins. So yeah, I, I did want to move all of these out because I have had them for a while. And so when the buyer added them to a bundle, I sent her a $45 offer with discount ship that was accepted. So my earnings came out to $34. I paid around seven for everything. And so my profit was 27 on this bundle. So yeah, these were just items that I was wanting to move out and reinvest that into some faster moving inventory. Um, so yeah, that was that. Now we have a two item bundle. First off is this Old Navy dress. Again, this was a fast sale. I picked it up recently. Uh, Power soft material, size extra large, athleisure style dress. And this does have built-in shorts underneath, which is awesome. This would be so great for like playing tennis or whatever, going on a hike, anything outdoors. And this Free People Burnout t-shirt with the choker neckline. This is called the Jordan tee and I have sold it. This is probably like my third or fourth time selling it now. But yeah, I do like selling this Old Navy Power Soft material. And this piece had so much going for it with the cut, the size, the condition. It looks brand new, but I had to grab it. I even sold a Old Navy and Old Navy Power Soft sports bra in a size 3X for $15 recently. And I mean, that probably cost me a dollar at the bin. So that's a great little profit when you just put it on the floor, flat lay it really quickly get it listed so the bundle price for these two the old navy dress and the free people t-shirt came out to $53 I was offered $39 which I did accept my earnings were $31.20 and my profit came out to $28 on this bundle the free people t-shirt I have had for uh, maybe like three or four months now so that has sat and with that, I think I'm going to run these down to the post office and I will come back and finish up our last couple sales to package up. Okay, I'm back from the post office, so let's go ahead and finish out our last few sales here. 
we have a three item bundle first off is oh you know what I think I'm going to yeah I'm gonna put this in another box number seven here so our first piece is this pair of BDG jeans I do pick up like newer BDG denim from Urban Outfitters and these are the mom high-rise cut so trendy cut excellent condition these probably retailed at about 60 so there's still room there for a pretty good profit second piece is a pair of Madewell shorts uh, baggy denim Bermuda shorts in a lighter wash I got both of these from the bins as well as our last piece which is a pair of shoes these are leopard printed flats by the brand Mia I think this brand is sold at like Nordstrom Rack kind of thing I picked these up because they kind of reminded me of Rothy's and they were in really good shape I also did like the leopard print that's always a solid seller for me so the bundle price for these three came out to 78 and I was offered 55 which I did accept my earnings were 44 I paid about six for everything and so my profit was $38 on this bundle okay now we have a dress this is by the brand Olivacious I don't always get this brand it's like a boutique kind of brand but this is a true wrap dress which does sell great for me typically that cut it's fully lined so it's not sheer at all and it is also 45% linen in a size large so this has quite a bit going for it it has that strip around the inner lining to keep it in place at the chest which is always nice any like extra thoughtful details like that just mean that the piece probably did retail for a bit higher um, because you know those do cost a little bit extra to manufacture so I also really like the terracotta color to this I listed this at 26 I would say maybe like four or five months ago but it did sell for full price of $26 so my earnings came out to $20.80 I paid a couple dollars for this at the Goodwill outlet and so my profit was $18.80 on this dress I have sold this brand a couple times in the past Olivacious and it does seem to do pretty well so I like to pick it up with more substantial stuff okay now we have a scarf I just listed this so this sold within a couple days the brand is Vince Camuto I do not pick this brand up in like clothing shirts and tops and stuff but shoes leather shoes and pretty scarves stuff like this um, I will get and I really like the print to this it was kind of like an abstract contemporary kind of print very soft excellent condition and I did get this from the bin so very lightweight I listed this at 25 someone liked it and so my posture VA sent them out a $22 offer with discount ship my that was accepted and so my earnings came out to $14.62 and my profit was $13.62 on the scarf let me add my thank you sticker alrighty our very last sale for today is another dress this is by Zara also very spring summer keeping with the theme linen blend adorable little baby doll mini dress with a ditzy floral print I I feel like I haven't had this for that long but I can't really remember I want to say maybe like a month or two I would say closer to two months I think this was relisted so I listed this at 28 and it actually sold full price which was great my earnings came out to $22.40 another bins grab and so my profit was $21.40 this is the newer tag Zara which I pretty much exclusively get unless it's like a really nice 
substantial piece in the older tag. Um, but for the most part, it's the newer one. And I like to see a lot of sellable factors. Bizarre stuff. So this had the linen blend material. The really trendy kind of 90s cut. Excellent condition. Seasonality was good. So yeah, that concludes our Ship With Me video for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy, please feel free to leave me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye, y'all.